Hey, hey everybody. Today is day five post-op. Uh, I had the gastric sleeve surgery done in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Ortiz on July 2nd. My highest weight was 245 when I was pregnant. I got down to 220 and I've been at 220 for eight years. And my pre-op diet weight was 218. Uh, surgery day was 208, 207 in that range. I'm going to round it down to 207. Um, and today, uh, five days post-op, I am at 206. I've only lost a pound since surgery. That's completely fine with me. Um, I don't expect a whole weight loss in five days, a whole bunch of weight loss in five days. That's fine. I'm still trying to recover. So, uh, I have been doing absolutely great. There's sharp pain when I'm swallowing. Every time I, I'm not thinking about it, sometimes I go take some drinks and I'm used to gulping drinks down. And then I take a big gulp and then I feel it go down and it hits right here. And I'm like, oh, 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 pain. And then it goes away in five seconds. So I gotta remember to take small sips. Sometimes I feel like, I'm dying of thirst because I'm not getting enough fluid in and so I just want to gulp drinks down something that I have to get used to I'm already used to taking small bites and whatnot uh, if it has to come to food because I did that practice before um, otherwise besides the gulping thing my stomach healed I passed the leak test um, I'm doing really well I am having a problem, and you may run across this if you haven't had surgery yet, and don't let this scare you out of surgery. Um, I had, if, especially if you're going through Mexico doctors, I had an antibiotic that I was severely allergic to, didn't know I was, and come to find out several other people had allergic reactions. Well, around every incision, I began rashes, like here, here because I have an incision here 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 and then down here and then it just started spreading and we thought it was tape at first and it wasn't tape so I began to question on Facebook if anybody else had the same reactions whether it was a rash and I took pictures and it, it's gotten so extreme that the rashes are starting to tur turn like a dark red and sometimes even purple especially when I itch it the the, the blood vessels like to uh, show themselves so it starts turning purple and, and it's really 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 itchy I think it's like worse than poison oak sometimes and I've lost sleep over it so um, I went on Facebook and I said has anybody else had this problem has anybody had a reaction to anything and I know I'm already allergic to penicillin I didn't know I was allergic to anything else and who knows what kind of stuff they put in the antibiotic not everybody's allergic to it but i am some people as well were allergic to it just to put give you a heads up so if you want an antibiotic see what a study out what the antibiotics are ask them what they are study on it and see if you may have a reaction i didn't have a reaction until i came home i was perfectly fine and then i came home and i started taking that and then it, it was done for, man. I'm not gonna show you the rash because it is pretty extreme and some people are squeamish. And when you look at my stomach, it looks like I was beat up in an alley, that I was hit with sticks and I was completely beaten up. It is that bad, it is so bad. Um, my incisions look great. They're a little yellowish from the bruising, but they're healing perfectly fine. It's all around the circumference. Then it started spreading down my... Hi, kitty. Then it started spreading down my hip, my groin area, and my leg. So I called the doctor this morning. I said, listen, I've got this nasty rash. It's spreading quickly um, overnight. There's new spots. And um, they had me come in. They made a spot for me and 
pretty much the doctor was mean about it. He's like, well, maybe you shouldn't have gotten surgery in Mexico and uh, because there's really nobody, no other surgeon to follow up here after that. And he made me like, felt like I, w it was a mistake or I did something bad by going to Mexico for surgery. I'm sorry, but he was really rude. In any case, he treated the symptoms and he got me hydro, hydroxy, hydroxine, zine. Anyway, this is, this will help take down the swelling of the rashes. He also gave me, um, ketoconazole 2% um, cream to rub on it, which is a steroidal cream and also recommended cortisone anti itch cream. So I have those to be taking. It should be gone within the next couple of days or at least subsiding and not spreading anymore in the next couple of days. That's fine. At least he treated it. I was out of there. I don't think I'm going back to that doctor. And what had happened is my original doctor um, retired and he took the place. And he is a new doctor in town. And he did not make a good first impression with me. So I'm going to have my husband call his doctor. His doctor supposedly is amazing. So I'm going to try to get in touch with Ronnie's doctor and um, see if he can help me. Ronnie will explain to him what's happening and um, see if I can get in with him. Okay, so what I, I am, I'm walking. I went to Disneyland and walked um, on Sunday. Yesterday I rested. I did a little bit of walking around the house. I kind of got a house where you can walk in loops um, just to get some gas out. Um, most of my gas is gone unless I eat and then I realize I've got some gas. So I sit up and I take some gas X. That typically usually helps. And so um, day five is do, I'm okay. I'm just a little bit over emotional with the rash and stuff, losing sleep being sleep deprived makes you a little bit more emotional and then having a mean doctor so I was a little bit more emotional today which is um not like me I usually can take grin and bear and take the pain but today was just kind of a bit of an emotional day for me which is fine we all have those days hi and he knows mommy's been emotional huh so uh what I'm going to do tonight is I am going to um, go to Safeway tonight and just take my time. I like to go late at nights sometimes because um, less people there. I can take my time. I can stroll, look through things, and I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk through Safeway. I am going to get... Um, I'm going to get a few items that I have found on bariatric kitchen is it bariatric kitchen you know what i will leave the link in the description box down below wonderful place to find some ideas to um substitute from always having chicken broth and always having crystal light or gatorade or all the normals that you would have on a liquid diet and so tomorrow i'm going to come to you with a new recipe that you may like um, from this website. I'm going to go get the ingredients for it and I'm just going to try to do some um, experimenting and seeing if this will help boost up my taste buds because I'm so sick of chicken broth. In fact, today I had some Lipton chicken noodle soup without the noodles and it was very salty. Please don't play with my camera, kitty. It was very, very salty to my tongue. Obviously, my t taste buds changed. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Um, things are going well I, for the most part. We just got to get rid of this nasty rash. Um, I see ounces going down. I'm obsessed with the scale. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm obsessed with the scale. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've been checking every now and then and I've noticed ounces dropping. I need to stop doing that. I need to only weigh myself once a day. I can't help it. Um, it's just something that it, it's caused me to be OCD over. Well, what are you now? So um, congratulations to all those who just got uh, sleeved. I'm so super proud of you. I am very happy to hear the news about Cassie. 
She's recovering, if you don't know, Mama and Me VSG on YouTube. They have their own YouTube and Cassie was going through some severe complications. She's starting to come on the mend and so it was nice to hear some good news on Cassie and my prayers and thoughts or hopes are for her. Congratulations, Sleeve for Tink. Woo woo! Sleeve for Tink and I were are like, our bodies are like the same. Except for her incisions look like she doesn't have incisions. Mine is like, hello, it looks like I've got a contagious disease all over my stomach. That doesn't look good. Anyway, but we're both having the same reactions. It's pretty funny. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will see you all day uh, tomorrow for day number six. Hopefully I got a good recipe for you guys to try. And we will see you all next time. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love, prayer, support, thumbs up, and subscribing and commenting. I read all your comments. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to respond, but I'm reading them all. Anyway, love you guys. Ciao.